Welcome back to the 628 Dirt Rooster Channel where hobby beekeeping is a way of life. Our customer today just recently bought a camper and it had bees in it and she called me to come look at it. It's about 30 minutes one way for me. I don't normally go look ahead of time, but on campers, that's a kind of a special case. You gotta know what you gotta disassemble to get to them. Also, with it being end of winter here, about to go into spring, you don't even know what you're getting into. It might not even be an active colony anymore. They can starve out pretty easy this time of year. So I went and looked and I've got to disassemble a vanity. The bottom half of the vanity is the storage for the power cord. They're going in at the power cord hole on the outside of the camper. They've been in there for a good long while. They had propolized all the cleaning products that were up under the vanity and diff different things like that. Stuff that let me know they'd been in there for probably a couple of years she said do you think they knew it had bees in it when they sold it to me and i said i can almost assure you they knew it had bees in it she said why wouldn't they tell me i said because you wouldn't have bought the camper she's got a bunch of killers in there little tiny bag are $60 worth of supplies including a couple of couplers wasn't 100% sure which size got two couplers the blades is a bulk of that money we go through these blades um, fairly often if you do removals got some, some uh, Teflon tape and two more bits square head because I thought some of these campers probably have square heads putting them together. Note to self, I smell a trash fire already. So if I smell something burning, it ain't me. <laughs> this step making me nervous. I think I'll skip that bottom one. Here's our little bathroom here. Not much room to work. Dude. Somebody's been trying to spray something on them. I get to do most of this job sitting on the toilet. So <laughs> there's the shower, vanity, and I am sitting on the toilet, so I, that might be the name of this video. There's the rest of the camper. Anyhow, they've been bees been coming up through this hole, around the plumbing there, another hole over here, and they had all this stuff propolized. You can see the propolis lines where all these product bottles were sitting, mop and shine with a propolis line around it. Everything's stuck. I don't know if they were trapping the beetles up here. Which is a good possibility. I don't see any other reason for them to be trying to propolize these bottles down other than if they had something under them. So I got to disassemble all this. Cut the bees out and reassemble when I'm done. That drain line back there is what I brought the coupler for. Because I don't know if I'm going to have to cut this or if I can separate it underneath. I'm anticipating cutting it right about here sticking a coupler in there when I put it back together. I just went and talked to her about what she sprayed in here. She said soapy water. I'm not sure I'm buying it because this has got kind of an oily feeling. It doesn't have a chemical smell, but it's got, I don't know, maybe she put something along with soap, but it's funny how people are. Bit of job. Yeah, sounds great. Let's do it. Let's schedule it. <laughs> in between the time you get out there and uh, the time you bid it and the time you get out there, they've had time to think about it. And I wonder if I can save that money.
I needed Mr. Ed for this. I finally got these lines undone. That was a job for me. I couldn't hardly reach up in there. I had to go get a, um, where is it? That ranch right there. I got one at home, but I didn't think about packing it. So I had to run down the store and buy a little cheap one. And I got this vanity all unscrewed from where, anywhere I can see that, that it's attached. Let's see if this thing will come out of here. I just attached somewhere else. And I think it's screwed through the back side of this wall. Where the fridge is. I am not pulling that fridge out. Breaking into the honey. <laughs> no, it's not safe, but you can. Oh. I'm not stirring them up too bad. I figured we'd have a bunch piled up out here. Huh? <clears throat> well, I'm glad they showed themselves so I would know they're in there, you know? Yeah, they'll get you. Okay, naming these videos is kind of tough sometimes. When I mean, you've done hundreds and hundreds of them, you you struggle to come up with a name for a video that's kind of catchy because it's not everybody don't just click on your videos just because you put a video out it's got to have a catchy thumbnail and a catchy title and 60 to 70 percent of my viewership is not subscribed to me they don't know who i am never seen my videos before so you got to try to catch people that are not into beekeeping to uh to get the views should i name this thing Bees on the crapper? <laughs> or, or, uh, I ought to put a survey out there and let y'all name this video. Got my flashlight stuck in that hole right there just to give me working light. Open this back up. Get a shot for a thumbnail. It's got a lot of honey in it. That cone there already fell.
heat all that honey. Gonna be some cleanup after this one. Man, that whole slab. That whole slab is honey. Can't keep none of it though. I don't know what they've been spraying on it to try to get rid of them. I know they've been spraying something. I just don't know what. And I'm not taking chances. So this will this all go in the garbage. Keep the bees though. They look healthy. Now what I didn't show here, and I don't think I showed through the video, is that in the bottom of this cabinet, underneath all this comb, there's an oily substance on the extension cord. There's some old pieces of comb down there and a lot of dead bees. I can't really detect an odor, so I'm not sure that it was a, a pesticide. I'm not really sure what it was. But wax absorbs chemicals and holds it. And I don't want to be applying this to foundations or anything that we're waxing in the future and certainly can't trust the honey in it the bees survived and are doing well this was this spring early this spring so i do have these bees still uh, all this comb and all this honey goes right in the trash Trying to keep an eye out for the queen. It's a nice little colony. Plenty of honey. They were not about to starve. I know you can hear the water splashing. I'm not washing my hands in the toilet, just in case, just in case you were wondering, because I am sitting on the toilet for this whole job. What? 
take a tape measure of this thing, see how deep it is, but they built comb all the way to the bottom of it. We got some brood combs now. Good heavy honey ring around them, but some good brood combs it looks like, just from this angle. Pollen and honey. Hi. Ah. Yeah, come on in. Someone would do the internet for the camper. Yeah. And I can't seem to find a body right now. Campgrounds usually have a. Now, this RV park I called and we said they don't have it. Damn. <coughs> you not afraid of putting your face up in there? No. I'm too ugly to sting. Not ugly. They don't sting me in the face, they sting me in the hands. I didn't, I didn't take about eight, what, or, eight you, or ten. Well, won't you put uh, something <coughs> on? Because you can't work with gloves on. I want you to pass it on me now. <laughs> Shoot, you can drag me out of here. No problem. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm weak, darling. <laughs> you follow me, you're going to squish this little body, this little fragile thing that I am. Yeah, I'll be fine. Yeah, I got uh, one, two, three, four, I'm, I'm five, small five more big combs to go and then clean up all that. Yeah, you and can then... have all of that. <clears throat> Someone told me people come out here for free to they get the honey. Yeah, they don't do this. They don't do that because I called them. I called mm -hmm. wildlife. No, I'm not. You know, I'm not trying to go there. I'm just saying. Yeah, you know? yeah, I know. Boom. Boom. <laughs> yeah. That's only about half of it. I didn't take half of it out. I just want to, I just want to have that picture. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, it blurry. Don't flinch. Mm -hmm. You got it or am I putting too much light on it? Mm -hmm. You got it. Let's see. That is the thing I've ever seen. Down below, like this show when it gets all over that. One of those sheep. I don't like killing bugs, but it's, it's them, not me. Yeah. Because they'll kill me too. Oh, yeah. I'll take a picture of you too. Alright. He's the bean head. Oh, shit. This is good for the camera. Yay. <laughs> some of my records. <laughs> hey, I can tell people about it too. Yeah, heck yeah. I'll get you some work. Yeah, I'll stay busy with this stuff. Yeah, if you need work, let me know because I believe me, I'll go around and execute that time of the year. I'm a saleswoman, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there might be a couple that I miss. I recommend staying out of here for a couple of days. What are they going to do if I stay out here a couple of days? They'll I mean, die. 
Oh, you will die? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it don't take them long to die. They got I got it. some spray. I got some bee spray. And that's a uh, wasp spray. You got well, I got wasp spray. Just, you can just leave them alone. They'll die on their own. But this, they don't have the queen? Well, they don't have the queen. They don't have the hive. They don't have anywhere to store food because I'm taking all the comb out. But where's the queen? What if the queen stores one in here? Oh, she can't. She got, you got a, a, a queen to have a successful colony. She's got to have a couple thousand bees with her just to survive. Okay. And I'm, I'm sucking up. I'm vacuuming up eight or 10,000 bees out of here. You wanna see how many bees in here? Come peek your, come peek your head around here. Oh my God. And there's the same on this other piece down here. Let me see if I got it. Picture. No, shit. <laughs> you can Get the honey off my fingers. I'm just scared or something. <laughs> I don't want to be in a hospital. There's a whole bunch of them here. You want to suck them up? I'll collect all them when I'm done cutting combs out. So what you do? You just go in there and suck up all the bees? Mm-hmm. I'm looking for the queen right now. Yeah. But the bees is in here. You can suck them up later? Yeah, I'll suck them up before I leave. Because uh, you can see a whole, there's a whole bunch of them in here. Yeah, there'll be plenty more in here when I'm done. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> So with people like this lady, I'm really super careful about having them around the bees because she claimed to be deathly allergic to them. The only reason that I allowed her in there, and, I, and I'm saying I allowed her in because it's her property. She can do what she wants, but ultimately, if I want to keep her out, I can keep her out. But we were only just a few minutes from a hospital. I didn't think she was that allergic, and she claimed to have been stung before. Uh, by these very bees and uh, I, I would think if they had put her in the hospital she wouldn't be back up in there checking my progress every 30 minutes every 15 minutes so I was fairly certain she's probably not deathly allergic to honeybees maybe wasps and yellow jackets because more people are allergic to those than honeybees still wanting to be really careful but at the same time knowing that if something happened I could sling her little narrow behind in my truck and be at the hospital in no time but just being being real careful anyway and that's what was going on there <laughs> save yourself <laughs>
queen right there. Yes, I'm a happy camper now. Got my queen. Still got a little ways to go with the bees, though. So got four more big combs to take out. And then a little bit goes behind the refrigerator over there. I'd have to fish that out. And then clean up, put it back. But I got that queen. I'm a happy camper and a happy camper on a camp commode. It's not much daylight left. I'll be done with the removal before dark. I'll, I'll be putting the uh, vanity back together in the dark because there's no light in here. I got a good couple good flashlights. That's not a problem. I got the messiest part out. The, all the honeycombs pretty much are out. What's left is brood combs with a nice heavy band of honey on it in here to my little spot. I got the queen tucked up in the corner to lure the bees up. I got all the combs out. There's a queen clip down there. I just stuck her on top of this lure on to lure the bees up instead of them going hiding back in there somewhere. I got to pull this cord out, scoop all this trash out of the bottom. As I end out this video and talk a little bit about how this cutout ended, I'll show you a time lapse from years back. Uh, this is an accident I investigated in my previous life. <laughs> I still do a little bit of this, but uh, yeah, anyway, that's, I will let this run while I talk about the cutout. And this is where it gets interesting for me. I get to scoop out two inches of muck in the bottom of this cabinet. It took me a couple hours, I guess, to clean it all out, clean up everything, do the repairs, put the cabinet back together, have everything done, all the bees collected, and, and be gone. And that's kind of how that finished out. I was too busy cleaning, and my hands were just filthy, which is why I didn't record anything else. I didn't want to be handling my phone with that garbage on my hands. But it was about two inches deep of just, I don't even know really what. A lot of dead bees, a lot of muck. Uh, really oily, kind of stinky. 
and uh, I just, you know, had to chunk everything in the garbage. Wouldn't dare use that honey for anything because it was just uh, no telling what the previous owner had treated it with, which is obviously what happened. They had tried to kill the bees to sell the camper and were unsuccessful. Sold it anyway, as is. This lady knew little to nothing about campers and uh, was just a unfortunate victim of a unscrupulous salesperson. And that's how that ended. I finished up late at night. I got home about 11 o'clock. That, that was 10.30 uh, at night, maybe, that I got home. And how's the bees? The bees did fine. Just put them on some fresh foundations with, with extra heavy wax on it. They drew it all out and went right back to work. So uh, good bees, healthy bees. The, the honey probably was okay, but, you know, that when, in that situation, you just don't take chances. And that's how that finished out. And hope y'all enjoyed that one. Y'all have a good night.